What's what was your worst ever dating experience? I'm oh, curious. I'm to know, old book. You, I'm you old seem book like you could take right. a lot. <laughs> you seem like you put up with a lot. I know. The booger man. The booger man was the worst date that I've ever been on. Um, it was a match.com date years ago. Uh, I thought we were getting along. So I, I did what I will never do again. Never will I invite a guy that I've never met to meet me on the road somewhere and stay with me and we'll get a room and the band will stand there. Nah, we're not doing that again. All this guy, this guy like literally did like a Scooby-Doo kiss on me when he saw me in the hallway. It was so gross. And then like, he was really proud. He bought the band, like all these drinks and like food and steak dinners. And like, it was at that place that I was talking about in Little Rock where the pumpkin smashing was. Hi, Goldie. Hi, Edward. Hi, cutie. It was at that place. So, you know, expensive. He was so proud to be with me. He was telling everybody, like, that's my friend. You know, we're, we're on a date. And But then, man, afterwards, like, this guy was a dirty mother trucker. But I just remember I was tired and I, I needed a chance to, like, go wash my makeup. Off. Like, you want to shower after a match, you know? Like, you just want to decompress, decompose, as I say when I'm really tired. And I just remember, like, laying in bed with him, like, just wanted to just chill. Like, I just kind of met this guy. We've been talking for a long time. And he was like, oh, so you want to, and I was like, um, can you, can you just give, give me a minute? Like, I'm not like, I'm not like, you gotta like kind of, you know, warm chicks up. You don't just go, do you want to? And like, he just kept saying like every couple, and I was getting like, I'm at this point, I'm like super turned off. I don't think we did. And nah, I don't think we did. Cause I was just like, eh, I said, maybe another time I'm, I'm kind of tired. All I remember is like sometime Hannibal during the night, like feeling this like horrible, serrating cut in my anus and it was I couldn't figure out like what just well anyway I rolled over onto a Dorito there were so many Doritos in the bed while he was waiting for me to get in the mood I guess he was just getting my shower he was eating all these Doritos in bed and like they were I was finding him in crevices that you don't want to find a Dorito like it was so dirty anyways we get back on the road we drive back he comes he's gonna fly out of Nashville so he drove with us from Arkansas all the way home this guy was like constantly picking his nose in bed. Like I could just feel like this, like rooting as, cause I was like, I turned away from him because I was so disgust. He was constantly picking his nose. And I don't think we didn't, we didn't get busy the entire trip because I was so disgusted by this. I mean, there's so many stories like I have like that. Like, you know what, when you just meet somebody, maybe 20 years down the line, when you're married, you can dig your boogers out, but like, don't do that on a first date.